welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is once again your man Bob and Bob, Doc Wildcard, welcome back to Hustle Cat, in which case I'm on Mason's route, and yeah, Finley still is being a flirty self, oh well, it always hurts this part because I, I don't want to break the heart to anyone, That's the fictional characters. Oh well. Hey cutie, how about some coffee? I had a really busy day at work. Oh, there she is. Now she looks worn out. But that does take a lot out of you. Wait, cutie? I get that a lot from girls. It's part of the reason I don't use a face cam for this. Dang, is she just being friendly or is she making a move? Coffee coming right up. Want me to put anything in it? Oh, you sweetheart. Skip milk and two sugars, please. You got it. Fetch a cup of coffee just the way she likes it. Once I make it back, I can catch her looking at her phone. Can't face it, got some really good comments today. We should see a nice boost in traffic from this. So, is this what you mean by social media expert or whatever? Yep. Run the company message board and all the other accounts. Until I don't, it was something I started doing to get more happy traffic. They expected it to get so big. It's actually a lot of fun. You should join me when you start transforming too. I could use a sidekick. And indeed, at the end of her route, the her and Avery start fighting cyber crime together. Avery is her sidekick. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. I guess I've forgotten about that until just now. Oh, sorry. Just trying to help. Here, come sit with me a sec. It's quite enough when you can take care of the main strat and search to be fine for just a few minutes, too. Really, though, it's gonna be fine. We all stick together here and you're all part. You're part of the family now, okay? Your boy, we call him Jimmy's. She reaches up and finds a treasure trove of sugar stuck in her bags. <laughs> so I do. I mean it though, guy. Yeah. Thanks. Got any room for another in the table? Huh. Just the one too many left after all. Clancy says that looks like he's already locked the door. Always. So Landry scoots the chair next to Finley. Guess the cafe is closed now. Expect you won't too. Expect you all won't spend too much time lollygagging. We got cream to do. She's dead. Lollygagging. Really? I don't know. It was the first word that came to mind. Miss, why don't you sit with us too? We do all use a break. I suppose so. I swear, he's a mason. Are you know me? Oh, you know Mason, she's probably already gone. She doesn't stick around after ships to help the queen up. She gets here earlier than any of us for prep, so I guess it's only fair that she had this early. Besides, I think she had something she does after work. What, as a cat? Hey, don't judge. I wasn't judging. I wonder what kind of cat she is, anyway. It feels kind of rude to think that, but you know what they say about curiosity in cats. See if she's here to thank her for her work. I'll be right back. Tell him to come join us if you see him. You got it. Now the kitchen's pretty clean already. Was Mason that quick? Oh, there she is. Call her before she could go. Mason! What? Oh! Um. You really busted your butt today. Thank you. It's my job. Already got one foot out the door. She didn't even tell you that I wrote the. Now, this too seems like it would be this, but just in case I'm gonna save you here. Um, you want me to walk you home? <laughs> you think I'm gonna get chased or something? Straight dogs gonna come get me? 
Uh, no, I... I thought it'd be nice. We could talk and stuff. We're talking now. Guess so, huh? Well, where are you going? Do you live near here? Don't we all? Yeah, haha. <laughs> Is that all? Uh, well, I guess so. Good night, Mason. Yeah. She just appears around the corner, but the second later, I catch a glimpse of a lanky orange cat with a crooked tail. Maybe that's her. Looks like she's heading in the same direction as my apartment. Wonder if her neighbors. Probably not. It's kind of silly to assume. I get back to the kitchen and I hear the sink from me. Looks like he's doing the rest of the dishes. I was like, look, come out with the others. The boy deserves breaks much as the rest of us. If everybody has a family, he's finally said he should be part of it too. Hey, put those down. Come out, we're all gonna sit and have coffee together. Thank you. What, you don't like me now? Teasing you. Come on. If one of us, I'm sure you're tired too. Come back and help you with the dishes after we're done. I'm sure it won't be the only one either. We gotta stick together, right? I guess so. Come on, I'll get you coffee even. I'd rather cut myself. I'll pick you my coffee. Oh yeah? How so? The way you made for me in my interview. It's really good. Oh, thank you. Captain Steam Dog Express. It's a dog balance. You make me another one? Oh, is that a smile? It is. I'll go make them now. Me in the dining room. Head out to the cafe. He's watching me. First, but slips up to the series of staircase. There's a series of loud whirring noises that he returns with a cup in each hand. Careful, he's careful as he is in mind. Looks amazing, thank you! And back upstairs, coffee in hand, return to my seat. He's falls short in the afternoon and sits at the table next to us. Reach down and drag his table a close to the hours. Talk over coffee for a while. Find the tips careful to be a separate stack from Mason when she gets in tomorrow. It's getting pretty dark. We should get going soon. Say goodbye to everybody and head out. They all stay in late again. I can understand that. Of course, they want to remain in room as long as possible. Go enjoy this while I can. If you have to leave the situation, weighs on me as I'm at the door. What am I going to do once I start turning to a cat? How can I explain that? Nobody will believe me. Mew. I'm still convinced this is Graves. Two different colored eyes and the fact that he's a black cat and there was the Edgar Allan Poe story that I'm damn near certain was called the black cat about a guy who first loves a black cat because it's so affectionate towards him but then cat becomes too affectionate he starts to go mad I, I'm not going to give away anything more than that though you should read it for yourselves ladies and gentlemen you should read all that girl post works genius and thought flies out my head black cat with the eyes out his back it sits in the middle of the road something dangles for his mouth but I can't tell what quit it craves Know that you. Mm. Black cat stares back at me impassively. Playing dumb isn't gonna work. Black cat flaps under the pavement and splits out his legs. It's not even looking at me. Maybe I'm off on this hot tip after all. But I guess sometimes a cat is just a cat. Everything's getting to me. All the more reason to go home and get some sleep. I'm all of a now. F figure out what I'm gonna do for this. Ah! Something just hit my back! Get off, get off, get off, get off! 
Wait, it's gone? I see the black cat at my feet. What the hell? Damn it, Graves! I don't care if this is crazy, Graves or not. Call it that until I'm proven wrong. Meow. Black cat shreds off somewhere. Is it just me or did something like someone saying the word meow? More than that, it sounded kind of smug? Graves. Maybe it's not him. He has a smell like cat and attract the other cats now. Better go home before I'm jumped by any more strays. Run the rest of the way home, slam the door behind me. Can't take this. If my hair wasn't already wet, it'd be turned that way. Or late. Eh? Who said that? Look down. Mochi's fat face is looking up at me. Oh no. No, no, no. No. Not doing this. And go to my room and close the door behind me. Same button to my pajamas, my rental book, and for a firm squares, pulls in the pocket. That's right, the book. Maybe I can find something useful in there. Start to flip through the book again. There's my name. There's Hayes, Finley, Mason, Landry, and Reese. This must be a clue of some kind. I don't know what it's supposed to say. All these words like they look like they've been written by the birds hopping around the ink. Toss my own hand on the floor and get the word. Maybe I can decipher it. Can I hold the book upside down? No. Is there a cipher? Nope. I don't know why I bother looking. Of course it wouldn't be that easy. Let's try for another 20 minutes or so, but it's useless. Okay. True Americans, especially Bully people never give up. We back out from time to time, but we never give up. Frustrated, I dropped the book. It's my hoodie and I'm gracefully till it was over. I shuffle them back with my phone and some thumbs out. What is that? Looks like I fell out of the book. Uh, Bookmark? Did I leave that there? Why did I put anything in there? I'll pick it up. Looks like it's got some weird holographic in it. It's kind of pretty. I should bring it back to the cafe tomorrow along with that stupid book. Go to the fucking bookmark and to the safekeeper for it. Hold up! Read what it is. I don't know how it got there, but it's the key to reading this book. Hollow Covenant of Witchery? What? You should say something about witches the other be a good lead to whatever's going on. So long with the book and stuff in the beginning. Been doing this for days now. Wake up, go work, come home, lose myself in the grimoire and bail and bake back to bed right before the sun comes up. Rather rinse repeat. Listen to me. I'm calling the thing a grimoire now. Can't stop reading this damn book. I'm mumbling to myself, I guess. Seriously, this all is stuff about witches, coffins, powers? Never read anything like it. Sometimes I don't even understand the words on the page, but they make me feel strange when I read. Powerful, I guess. Dude, you are powerful. You are a classic red, white, and blue blooded bully son! You're from the birthplace of this, the single greatest nation of all time. The glorious, the indestructible United States of America. You're damn right you're powerful. Okay, if you keep going, they'll suddenly click into place and I'll learn something unknowable. It's getting to me, though. I feel haggard. My co-workers are pointing out I'm getting some wicked bags under my eyes. I haven't told them about the book. Bet they think I've been, been playing up video, playing video games or something. Mm. What for you? It's so friendly lately. It's when you sit and laugh. They do say some witches get familiars. No. That's ridiculous. Get ahead of myself here. Not becoming a witch. I've been trying some of this stuff to book out though. Just a bit. Can't blame you for that. Hear me out, but I think I managed to move a coal can with my magic. Maybe it was balanced weirdly or something and fell on so but I felt like it worked. Definitely been reading this Jewish book for too long. 
I should stretch my legs or something. Right, Mochi? Nah. See if Mochi agrees, and he hates exercise. Hey, it's actually pretty early. Reading Dusty Tome on I actually reset my sleep schedule to a normal one. Got to celebrate with some coffee, breakfast, and a nice walk. I don't like become a coffee drinker anyway. It's not bad at all now I've gotten used to it. Stuff I drink is actually real shade of tan now almost. My pal is refining every day. Just kind of want a big old cheese sandwich or something too. There's a corn store down the road. Been there for a lot of stuff and their precious pastries look really good. Gus is a stuff out of cafe. It's close to customers today but I bet someone's hanging around it to make a nice pace of coffee or something. See if Mason's cat form here, so apparently this is a perfect pan. You know what? I breakfast the cat day all the time now. I'm gonna get some variety. The place is really huge, Andy. I think I'm not really a grocery shopping cat person, but if I was, I'd do it here. It's the actual choice, the little bakery window behind the window. Kind of cow has some surprisingly delicious toys. I think they all make them himself. He was a real gruff guy, but he's the type of guy. I bet he's the type of his favorite customers warms up for. Oh no, so I'm not one of those favorites. He's in the cow reading the paper right now. Somehow manages to spare me a glance that fruit. He goes back to the sports section while I pour myself a cup of coffee. Good morning. It's starting to get cold out, isn't it? I want too much of what? <laughs> Boy, you might be a sincerely chef. Yeah? Chocolate and jelly, uh, jelly dog, please. Hey, jelly dog. Tends to pull up the ground. It's been a display case, that's why I see it. Hard to be precise. Scraggly orange cat curled up in a bowl. Sleep on top of the room to a milk cake from the door's feet. That's... Mason. The old man didn't hear me catch or did. Her eyes flat wide open and people shrink to the size of a paper cut. He's talking about, what are you doing here? The little old man's down in the office. The pocket tail puffs up twice the size of the dress while they put behind her. He knew the cat was standing in the middle. I know her, I know he's found herself, she's gonna come at me. It's your donuts. Dude, my cat. Uh, nothing. They just assume we'll play the brown and or something. Anyway, bye. You're going on the camera, you hate you. Uh, I hate that term of tree. As I said, uh, for advancing in another direction from the legendary Marine Chesty Polar. I can't remember his real name at the moment. Uh, but yeah, that's what they all call him. How weird, I didn't expect Mace of all people to be some sore mascot. What the weirdest going on here? I hope it's not so weird I can't go there anymore. This tone is delicious. I decided to head over to the cafe a bit. I hope they won't get on my case about having outside food. I think they won't really care though. He's probably the only one to give me grief about that and well. When I get there I always see some movement inside. Don't let me weirded out by people hanging out and work the um, the day off but the cat curse them off I get it. He just opens the door for me. Looks like he's the only one right here right now actually. She glances down the car from my hand. From the corner store a few blocks away. It's on the way here. I'm sorry, man. I got it. It's not my fault. I'm not the one who wrote this game. Looks a little distinct. Kind of like knowing that such a shy guy's a bit of a snobby side, though. Something hiding that shelf, for sure. 
Matthew's fun, be sure get to be awesome, my God. Sit here all day, if I will. Oh! Avery, you're here, early. Yeah, I've probably come to see what everybody's doing. Been cooped up my house for too long. It's good to see you. Your reference from anywhere, but let me know if you need anything. I don't worry about me, it sounds like you'll be busy enough. There's the door again. Hello, hello! So, Avery! I'm free to you, do you know yet? I excuse me? Cat, I mean. Sorry, is it still a sensitive subject? No. It's happened to me since the day I grew a whisker. We need to take more time. It's strange, I turned in about a week. Yeah, me too. He's not from the other couch. Wouldn't be the first time if we slow in the uptake. Were you just standing there waiting for a chance to say something like that? Of course not! Totally was. You're right though, playing with that book has made me totally forget that curse. I haven't seen, seen any changes since then. Well, I'm gonna do some laundry. Let me know whenever you find out. Bet it'd be a silver tabby or something pretty like that. Cast comes still a person. Each rolls his eyes and pops down the long row of seats to the Sally Cafe. Sells him with a spiral bound sketchbook. Then he picks up a large bag of trouble and swords and says it's a great way to travel. Is there a laundry machine up there? Yeah, in Gray's apartment. He lets us do laundry there for free. Wait. Freeze lives here? Yeah, duh. Third floor is his apartment. Shouldn't we like see him all the time? Basically a ghost as is. He's usually out really late at night and leaves the property. He's pretty early in the morning. I don't think he sleeps. He sleeps that fancy coffee. Haha, <laughs> it just means he's really busy. He takes care of all the, the administrative stuff for the cafe after all. Mm -hmm. Well, I better get to work. I remember his going to build itself after all. It gives me a little wave and it's pierced in the back. It's back a few minutes with his hands full of lumber and a little carpet. So that's why all this stuff is in the basement. Sorry, it might get a bit noisy in here. It's no problem with me. I suppose if you must. Andrew and Reese go back to work. A few minutes later, I hear Finley. Pick up the balcony to fill a little laptop or something. Everybody seems to be keeping themselves busy. You guys should help one of them. On the other hand, I'm not gonna pay for it, so... Uh, ordinarily, I would do something here, but... Since this is the I hear, I'm gonna stay put until she comes here. Yeah. I'm gonna stay and finish the Twisted Coffee before I do anything. It's my day off, after all. We all get caught up doing our own things when I hear footsteps approach from the kitchen. Why, if he's in the bo he boss himself. And as always, I gotta say about this. Bruce Springsteen is here? That's his nickname is The Boss. I saw Bruce Springsteen in concert a few years back with my dad. Took him to a concert. We had first row seats. Incredible performance. Three hours plus the guy went without taking a break once, except for this one part in the song E Street Band when they go and then the big man joined the band. They had a montage of Clarence Clemens because he passed away. But other than that, at 60 years old at the time, without taking any breaks, just absolutely incredible. If you ever get a chance to see him in concert, ladies and gentlemen, do so. You won't regret it. My wonderful cat hoodies. I see you've been keeping the place well since I've been gone. He looks this over and his gaze stops on me for a second. And this weird glimmer of I can't really place. Ew. Want you, buddy. Now you have something to do with that book. You can't have just been there because you collected something. Heck, it has her names in it. I don't really understand what those pages since the bookmark doesn't work on them still. Must be something fishy. Landry. 
excellent work on the cat's equipment as always. Ah, but I'm not done yet. Have you ever given me reason to doubt? I know you'll do a stellar job. We can talk about future designs soon. Sure thing, boss. Reese, I see you've been keeping your protege in line. Keep up the good work. Of course. Nothing gets past me. The eyes and town of an eagle. Damn right, this is FULLY! This is the home of the eagles. Protege? You talking about me? Hayes, my sweet Hayes. Can I trouble you for some of your exquisite coffee? You are a treasure as always. I hope you've been keeping well. Oh, oh, oh. Finley! Finley peeks her head over the stairs balcony and sat down. Come on, just come downstairs. Present! Your videos are keeping me busy. You did a whole new attendance record the other day. And six adoptions in two days. The home inspections never end. Precious, adorable girl here business You are my internet lifeline. I have no head for such things. Indeed, he probably lost his head to the devil in a bet. I should take on another one of Edgar Allan Poe's classic works. Never bet the devil your head. Bet has been lost ever since Tokyo's way now. style. mine always amuses me. And day for you. It's real close now. Puts his hand on my shoulder and loves his gaze down to mine. Blue eyes so chilling. It really is a telltale heart situation. Yes! I'm on to you, Avery. Well, you're the fastest thing we've had here yet. I forget you're still new. I feel like he's not talking about the cafe work. Well, I've been doing a lot of studying. So you yeah. Let's go, my shoulder and turns away the rest of the employees. She definitely wasn't talking to the cafe. I know something about that book. Ask him more, but maybe it's not a good idea in front of everybody else. Chase him down there when he's leaving or something. I have to get more information. Where's Mason? I want to talk to her today, too. I haven't been to your place in ages, though. When did you get here? You startled me. Ah, Mason, I'm so glad you're here. It wouldn't be the same if you didn't join us. As much as I adore your cooking today, I'd rather give you respite. Think I'm gonna cook my day off? Ha! Of course not. That is why I will take the pleasure of providing you, my dear employees, with dinner today. But first, an announcement. So back into the kitchen for a moment. When he returns, he's holding the garment bag. No. You haven't even let me make the announcement. I know what this is. Absolutely not. <laughs> My more cooperative employers, then. With a surely practiced flourish, graves on the garment bag and lets it fall to the floor. Oh no. No. No, no. Is that somehow both plaid and chicken flannel? I don't think you could make a suit out of that type of material. Reese was personally offended. Now we know why he's a fashion designer himself. He should just stray up leaves. No appreciation for your new uniforms. I think I had it made in your size, Avery. Try it on, Avery. She's still sitting down from the balcony. I can't play him. I wouldn't want to get any close to that suit either. I'd rather wear a potato sack. I went through so much trouble to have him made. Check what that's the next time before you waste your time. It is either to, easier to beg forgiveness than ask permission, as they say. See? You even know it when you agreed to it. 
Well, I'll leave this here in case you all come to reason. Take some time to admire it. I'll be off on land left errand, but trust me when I say you return. My return, you'll all be treated to one of. Where he just appears in the kitchen. Going to follow him. Let's see what happens when he leaves. Get to the kitchen in time to see him slip through the back door. Show him go out and see that black cat. Just know it. Peek out the window there's door as he leaves. Just further and further away from the cafe, but I don't see him change. Not even when he gets past the point where I know he's off cafe grounds. Hmm. Guess the others already assumed he wasn't affected by the curse, but why? Does this prove he's the culprit? How else would he escape whatever was that got everyone else? Although to be fair, I can't use that as proof. After all, I also escaped the curse, not sure if I didn't cause it. it. Seems like he's going to time his age to see if I can find out what's going on. <coughs> Peek back into the main cafe. Looks like everybody's back where they were, whatever they were doing before. The little Rise Mason has kicked up a feet on the couch and seems to be dozing off. Finley did say we have some free access to Graves' apartment after all. Cooper can see what he's carrying up there. I'm also kind of curious about what it looks like. But then again, if he was hiding something there, wouldn't somebody have noticed by now? Maybe he keeps all his magic stuff in that creepy basement. Wonder which would be better to search. Worked the first time, right? But that's why all of his various stuff is kept anyway. It appears there's a hapless idiot, idiot caught up in someone else's plan. Maybe I'm supposed to think he's a witch, but he's actually someone else his name's covered. Wouldn't that be myself who was on the other one of the cafe? I can't see him as my type. What do I know? Well, I suppose I should prepare myself for some stupid. I mean, it's like 10 degrees cold down here in this upstairs. Now, if I were a witch, where would I have my witchery and witch accessories? Take a brief walk to the immediate left of the stairs, but there's nothing there with cafe and cat supplies. Maybe the bulk coffee is also ground up to use to make arcane decisions? Maybe I'm reaching. Right the stairs has more interesting stuff anyway. Kneel down, get a close look. Curial filled crystals when I hear something creep above me. Crap. Scream's gonna catch me? Nah, you left. I'm here, things. I resume my hunt. Maybe there's magic crystals after all. Well? Maybe it's my imagination. Okay, maybe it's not. I know somebody's there. You gonna try to sneak up on me or something? Not gonna fall for that. You're so noisy. Oh, oh, it's just you. Just me. Think something was gonna get you? You can't blame me. It's creepy down here with all these specimens and things. And I love it for it. My kind of girl. I like it. Oh, right. Yeah, it's quiet. So, come down here a lot? Of course, supplies are down here. That's... That's not what I meant. I know. She's being... kind of chatty indeed. This is very unlike her. In her own way. I feel like this is the most we've ever talked. You like all this collection stuff too? Yeah. Ever look through it? Well, only a little. Find anything good? Oh, just the book. It's kind of hard to explain what it's about, though. I feel like she wouldn't believe me if I tried to explain it now. Just barely started talking. I'm going to bust out. Hey! I found a magic spell book! Yeah. Boring. Look around more. I didn't think... Didn't take you for the stupid type. Mm. 
guess you caught the doing this after that though. Not sure what to do so I know I'm not curious and start rooting around. What kind of stuff do you find anyway? Here. He'll kneel down next to me. Not sure if she wants to move me to move over or something to give her space, but she doesn't seem to mind right now. Look. She reaches over the Weird, weirdly looking rock. She rests her arm on my shoulder, then drops back my hands. Is it cold rock? Turn it over. Oh, of course. Uh, oh, it's a geode. Duh. Yeah. Now the corner of my eyes, see. Smile? Smile, just a little. Really pretty. You like crystals? Who win? You're right. <laughs> Used to collect quartz as a kid. Ah, cool. Oh? I wouldn't have expected that. I wonder if she's into that whole healing crystal thing. Maybe she knows something about magic after all. Probably not. Not gonna ask her at least. She'd look at me as if I had to be head. You don't seem like the type, that's all. But you look really cool with quartz point necklace, though. So keep that in mind. I wonder when her birthday is. Ha, <laughs> maybe. Because my world, my shoulder lights that and stands up. I'm going back up. Oh, okay. You coming? Oh, yeah, sure, one second. That was a boss. Just kind of talking, nice to talk to Mason, I guess. This could be getting closer with everybody here. So we can have a social life. Oh, sort of. Guess I'm still hanging out with a bunch of cats, maybe or another. Back to the drawing cave on his curse business, huh? And that's gonna be the end of this particular chapter. If now, ladies and gentlemen, if you do what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. Always so back. Very well.